welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. Let's head down to the coin toss now, and brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And down he goes at the 44. You gotta love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Looks for his running back, incomplete. That pass led him just a little bit too far, but still, great effort. So the official's taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the Booth Review is a great thing for college football. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He's at the 30. The 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Complete and he stopped immediately. That'll be a seven yard pickup. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. up the play action he sails it long this one will fall incomplete almost a big play he patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder though he didn't make the catch like one Hayton back to return it he gets it away and this is a really nice punt brought down at the 34 yard line And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Now he's scrambling, and he is drilled at the 30-yard line. They come up to the line here in second down and 14 after the sack. He's on the run. Slides down. He got three yards there on the scramble. That makes it third and 11. Here's 
Here's the halfback on the screen. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 46. Nice play fake. He airs it out. The defender had it and then dropped it. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Pass complete and taken down immediately. The defense provided good pressure on the play, but they just weren't able to get to the quarterback that time. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. And a quick throw out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Well, we get a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, but what does this do to the starter's psyche? It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Down around the 43 yard line. That makes it second and 14. From their own 43 yard line, it's second down. Looks for his tight end over the middle. Pretty nice pick up here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. possession there for the defense. Outstanding pressure here on the quarterback. They sent every one of those linebackers and even though they couldn't get to the quarterback, they were able to prevent the first down. Nice run and he's brought down. Give some credit to the ball carrier for knowing where the markers were, especially on fourth down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. Around the 40 yard line. That's a team in one. That brings up second and nine. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. Slides on the play. That's good for a gain of four yards. Third and down. Third and five situation. Ball on the 36. He scrambles. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. And this is the eighth play of the drive. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-0, Cougars. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. 
That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. This is the ninth play of this drive. And he's tackled right around the 22-yard line. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread them out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. From the 22-yard line, it's third down. 36, 36. Deep pass to the end zone. Leaps picked off. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. to that quickly and he's taken down around the 22 yard line it's second down and eight ball on the 22 yard line quick throw to the back it's incomplete So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. So the call on the field will be reversed. the 43-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. the grab past the marker it's complete and down he goes around the 48 yard line first down ball right around midfield and they're moving the ball very well on this drive It's the ninth play of the drive. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. They're about four yards away here on third down. Picked off. Number seven was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Crockett is waiting for the snap. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's gonna throw. Quick pass. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. This is the 12th play of the drive. Tackle made right around the 16-yard line. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. 
carries the ball for a nice game. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. He got seven, but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more. Good call. And he just gets rid of it. From the nine-yard line. Second down. He's taken down around the one-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That makes it third and good. And this is the 16th play of the drive. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They're crowding the line. Fourth and goal, and he doesn't get it. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. The offense calls a timeout. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's level at the 21-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Strike to his receiver. No good. From their own 21-yard line. Second down. Slings it, and they push him out around the 29-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. to around the 45. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. First and 10, ball on the 45. Gets it out in a hurry. They come out on an empty backfield. Great concentration to pull it in. Brought down around the 43 yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Quick throw to the tight end. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. back to the tailback but he can't bring it in you know sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying throw it throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm stepping and throwing and that time he aimed the ball and it was incomplete and he splits the uprights we've still got a half of football remaining the cougars lead it by four 
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both passing games have struggled in the first half, David, and a lot of times you think of defensive backs being finesse-type athletes. A lot of physicality shown in that first half. No doubt about it. In, in defensive backs, the ones that we like the best are the ones that can play on an island and play extremely physical because most offenses are predicated around timing and rhythm, and you see quarterbacks all the time in seven-on-sevens and all summer getting with their wide receivers to try to get that perfect timing. and. If you can jam them up at the line of scrimmage, you can mess up that timing. And doing a good job of that, playing close to the line of scrimmage, you know, not letting those receivers get too much wide open spaces and not giving away those easy completions. It's been a clinic so far the first half. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Welcome back to the action. It's the second half just about set to begin. we got a tight game here. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. They'll work the left. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Six. Second and six. Ball on the 30 yard line. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From their own 29-yard line. It's third down. Off balance throw got him anyway. Hayton will be the return man. Hayton fields it at the 26. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42. They're set to go for another round. They keep it on the ground on the tailback. It's scooped up by the offense. And they'll get him in the backfield. their own 37 yard line second down throws it to the halfback on the screen and he tackles him hard at the 43 yard line tackle immediately. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. That makes us open to the Crockett awaits the snap. He gets it away. This is a really nice punt. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They bring him down in the backfield. From 
their own 22 yard line. It's second down. a great tackle at the 18. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Roger, Roger! Mike Four, Mike Four! I know he ain't got it! Got it. He's tackled in the open field. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Nice run up the middle. That brings him second and five. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. Tight in on the line here on fourth and short. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Quick throw, tackle around the 44-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And now he pitches it. Nice run, and he's brought down. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Setting up the play action. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. the third quarter the Cougars in front 7-3 into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action he's at the 20 
and he's taken down at the six-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down back deep into their own territory. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Third trip now into the red zone. He's going to try and scramble. And he's sacked. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. He might have a chance. He's in for the touchdown. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming in, but they just couldn't stop it. And he converts the extra point. A nice seven play, 50 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's taken down at the 21. The Cougars have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Now he's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. And he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37. Mike four, Mike four. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's a game four. That makes it second and six. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike four. No, four. Kill, kill. And down he goes at the 47. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47 yard line. On the ground, he won't get back to the line. Just throws this one away. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He's pushed out of bounds at the 48. Quick strike to the receiver. Well, that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. Just under three to go in regulation. Makes the catch, and he might take it. He's out of bounds at about the 29-yard line.
He's on the run, decides to slide, and he just slid down to avoid the contact there. You know, Brad, sometimes a quarterback's got to get down low to protect himself. But in this case, try to show some guts. Break a tackle and get downfield. Look for the first down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he is drilled at the 26. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. strike and he can't pull it in. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He breaks it. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down to the 39-yard line. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. Tackle made at about the 31. The defense calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's tackled at the 20. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Offense. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. three yard line so the quarterback keeps it for two yards so it's third down now and they're going to need about four quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts quick throw out to the receiver and he's level at the 19 yard line by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. From the 21-yard line, second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. tally in this one. 14-3 Cougars. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.